All right, ladies and gentlemen, things are about to get serious as the Copa America soccer tourney reaches the quarterfinals set to kick off here on Thursday night. We are very pleased to be partnering with Batano to be bringing you guys some interesting picks, some interesting angles. I'm not the guy to give them to you. We're going to be relying on our guy. Let's bring him in here. Chris Vasile from the Covers Editorial team. Chris, how are you making out and any takeaways from what we've seen in the tourney so far? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing well, Joe. Um, yeah, Copa America has been, um, you know, one hell of a tournament so far in, in the group stages. Um, you know, it, it's kind of surprising how um, how much of a hatred each country has for each other on the pitch. Um, it's kind of been, you know, 90 minutes each game of just an all out battle. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the quarterfinals uh, get, getting rolling here. I think it's going to be uh, ranching it up a notch and it's going to be some good, uh, good watching. Okay, let's get right into the picks here, and let's start with the first game going down between Argentina and Ecuador. You have a plus money spot that you like for this game. What do you have on your radar here? Yeah, so we're taking Argentina, Ecuador, uh, both teams to score. We're getting a juicy plus 160 payout here. Um, if you kind of look at the box scores uh, for the Argentina games, you're going to see that you know they've yet to concede a goal this tournament. But if you've actually watched you know all three games, Canada, Chile, they had plenty of opportunity to put the ball in the back of the net. Um, they just simply kind of lacked that clinical finish in the, in the final uh, final third. Ecuador, they have some elite talent up front. They should have the ability to create plenty of chances, uh, similar to Canada and Chile. And I do believe they're going to take their chances as well and put some pressure uh, finally on this Argentinian side. If not for an early red card, uh, you know, uh, against uh, Venezuela in their opening game, they might not even be here. That could have, you know, flipped that group around. But here they are. They're going up against the, you know, the reigning World Cup champs, reigning Copa America champs. I do believe they're going to get their very best uh, performance for this 90 minutes. On the flip side, you have an Argentina side that scored at least one goal in 32 of their last 33 matches in all competitions. That's wildly absurd. And, you know, with Lionel Messi not getting on the score sheet yet, they still getting depth scoring. Latoro Martinez leads the tournament. And I just see both teams, um, you know, finding the back minute here at a juicy plus 160 price. Okay, so the team closest to my heart, the team that I am zeroed in on is, of course, Team Canada, as I am a Canadian citizen, and you have a bet you like for them. What are we wagering on here? Because I will be tailing. Yeah, so we're taking uh, Canada to qualify at plus 100. Um, for those kind of new to soccer betting, this is kind of a bet where they can win in, in uh, 90 minutes and penalties. Um, so we kind of got, uh, you know, three outs, if you will. If we look at kind of what Venezuela did in the lead up to this uh, quarterfinal fixture here, um, they were kind of the beneficiary of some lucky breaks along the way in the group stages. Um, you know, nine points from three games in the group stages, nothing to, sh uh, nothing to you know, uh, hold your head down about. It's impressive, but they were a beneficiary of some lucky breaks. They, uh, you know, were uh, fortunate to get the red card against Ecuador, which ultimately led them to win 2-1. They were outplayed by Mexico in the second game um, and just simply didn't look good. And then they put three past the already eliminated Jamaica side. I don't believe they've been tested. And on the flip side, you've got a Canadian team that's, you know, fighting tooth and nail to get to this stage in the tournament. Yes, they've scored just one goal, but I do believe, um, you know, they're battle tested. They're ready for this moment. And if you kind of look at a kind of an emotional um, aspect, they did lose one of their players in training. Uh, Tejan Buchanan is going to be out with, uh, you know, a broken tibia. That could kind of be one of those sparks that rallies the team um, and kind of gives them that added boost. But all things uh, being equal, I, th I think these two teams are pretty, pretty equal. And we'll take the plus money price here with the Canadians. Okay, so now that is officially a bet on my radar. Something that's not on my radar, though, is uh, Team Uruguay. But you have a bet you like for them. Tell me about it. Yeah, so this is kind of the uh, the, the pick of the uh, the quarterfinals, Uruguay versus Brazil. Uh, we're going to roll with Uruguay to qualify at minus 105. It's kind of a slight, uh, slight underdog uh, price. Um, essentially, when you look at this Brazil team, they kind of shot themselves in the foot in the opening game against uh, Costa Rica. They were unable to, to, to get the ball in the back of the net there, 0-0 draw. That ultimately kind of set up, set up their path to face this Uruguay side, who's been nothing short of spectacular uh, through three games this tournament. They're getting depth scoring from everybody on the roster. They have kind of the informed striker of the tournament in Darwin Nunez. He's just been lights out for Uruguay, scoring 10 goals in his last eight uh, matches for Uruguay in all competitions. Um, I just believe they're they're the more well-rounded team. And if you throw in the, the fact that Brazil, uh, Vinicius Jr., they're their catalyst. He's going to be missing this game uh, due to yellow card accumulation. I just don't see a way Brazil can overcome that loss, especially with already losing Neymar um, you know, before the tournament. I just think Uruguay is the deeper team, the more well-rounded team. At minus 105, that's a good price for them to qualify.
105. Okay, there you have it. Chris, we will leave it at that, but we will be sure to catch up with you before the final. So we will be recording uh, next Friday, actually. So I'm looking forward to that. Hope we'll be talking some Canada. I don't know about yes. that, but uh, <laughs> keep the fingers crossed. But until then, uh, make sure you head on over to Batano, lock in some bets, check them out for all of your Copa America betting needs, and we'll see you guys ahead of the final.